Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, it is app of the daytime. You have something that is awesome and takes pictures. Not only is it awesome, and it's a camera, it's yeah. camera awesome. That says app of the day. So the iPhone is probably my favorite portable camera, point and shoot on the go when I'm- Because you have it with you. Because I have it with me, and it has a decent eight megapixel camera sensor yeah. on it. I thought megapixels didn't matter. Why do you always say it's an eight megapixel camera? Well, because the pictures can be big and has good low light photos. Okay. It's not That's five fair. megapixels. Eight is better than five, right? Uh, you it's, told me that megapixels it's very don't lucky. matter. I assume that eight, like eight is the luckiest number in the world. With the right lens is better than eight megapixels Absolutely. all day long. Well, but the tell camera, me. the default camera app on the iPhone isn't so great. It's, and there are many, many third party camera apps. Lots. Lots. It's like there's a whole category oh, that yeah. goes deep. Now, previously, our favorite third party camera app was Camera Plus. Yeah, it's good. You could separate exposure and, 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 focus. Uh, and focus and stuff like that. Yep. And you could edit pictures. Yeah. But it costs money. It's 99 cents. Oh my God, a 99 Today's cents. Today's app is Camera Awesome and it's free. Is it really free or is there like a hidden cost? There, there are hidden costs, below? but it is free to download. It's made by the people at Smug Mug and they're like Flickr, they're an image like hosting the, service. Okay. Yeah, but, the, and their service isn't free. Right. This app is free. Okay. So here's what you can do with the app. And I have it set up right now. Like with Camera Plus, I can split my focus and exposure. Which and one's focus and which one's exposure? Well, it's labeled right there. Green box is focus, blue circle, expose. And I can lock those by tapping the middle, which is awesome. Okay, that's pretty good. Or I can combine them just by putting them together or double tap the screen. Dollars. There it goes. Or double tap and I just have standard focus and exposure settings. And the focus and exposure by default are just like centered, weighted center kind yes, of thing? Yes, weighted centered is a cent uh, default. Uh, but it, that's, that's every, you know basic feature that Camera Plus has. What I like about Camera Awesome is I can bring down these features. I can create the horizon bar. Now it uses the gyroscope Ooh. inside, so I can take angled shots, and also have an overlay to create my rule of thirds. So not only do you have your grid lines for rule of thirds, or even the golden rule, which is that's this curve. It's, it's like the conch shell. I don't understand. You you want things to be in the spiral. Okay. You want, you want to line things like up, but you also, it is like, it's a spiral of life. There a dead it's a line spiral of this? photography. You also have oh. the horizon line, which I think is very neat. And this is something that Camera Plus actually doesn't have. Hey, I'm really impressed. You have those pictures hung almost exactly level with the horizon. Almost level. According to the line. accelerometer. And I can tap the picture button, uh, shutter button, tap for picture. In addition to that, you also have many different shutter modes. You could have uh, image stabilization, which so takes that, a little longer. So that, that you tap the button and it waits until your hand isn't moving yep. before, okay. You can also have a big button mode, which means I can tap the screen to take pictures. Tap, tap, tap on. Or I can have burst mode, slow burst or fast burst, which means I can just hold the button down and it's gonna take many, many pictures, about a dozen of them. Cool. And I'll save. And so I'll if go. I like do a flying leap through that shot, you'll have a, yep, a time-lapse slow-mo of me. Wow, that is a lot of those pictures. Let's, let's try that right now, actually. Go. Oh, that wasn't a jump. Okay, try again. Try again. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it looks like the shutter speed it leaves a little bit to be desired if you're actually moving fast. As you can see, I was in that for like maybe three frames. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we faked it and I went slow but acted like I was going fast, no. the effect was pretty good, although super dumb. How fast do you think I was moving there, Norm? Maybe a foot a second. Maybe a foot a second. So in addition to the burst modes, there's also the timer interval mode, so you can set oh, up to, to shoot after you wait 10 seconds. Put it on your or tripod shoot. and run back to exactly. the, the group of friends so that you end up doing the, right. just as you get into the edge of the frame. Yeah, or shoot good. every 10 seconds, interval modes, and because it is a camera app, a modern camera app, it also has filters. And that's where the microtransactions come in. Oh boy, filters. You so, love filters, don't you? Nah, I'm not a big fan of filters. So after you take a picture, you can actually edit your images. Can you make it look like some weird like 1970s Russian camera with a terrible lens and a lot of defects? You can absolutely do that. Great. The app comes with a bunch of presets, like road trip, oh, and you yeah. can actually swipe to get the presets to show. Hold on, let's see the cowbell one. That doesn't look cowbelly at all. No, I see no I, walk in there. I think it's there. very arbitrary how they name these. These names are ridiculous. Like, why is that hot? That it's should be blue if it's hot. And of course, there are more presets that you can buy. Is that one called More Wang? I think that one is called More Wang. I find that offensive. On and a the presets of are about a buck each. Uh, so, okay, so you pay nothing, but they make a little bit of money on the the, the easy edit preset, make your thing look cool for Instagram. Yeah. So does this just save to Smug Mug or can you use it with other you services You can upload well? to other services. You don't have to use Smug Mug if you have a Twitter account, Facebook account, 
Flickr even, or Instagram, you can upload directly to those. Services. Those are all the services I care about. What about Photo Bucket, Norm? Uh, no, oh, Photo Bucket is there. Wow! Yeah. So does this let you save your originals so that yep. if you want to go back and get the real photo, you can? Instagram does that. Yeah, so the save the original show. also doesn't actually save to your camera roll unless you export to the camera roll. It okay. stays within the app. So it's like its own library and then you yeah. can export what you want or not. Uh, this is Camera Awesome. It's free -ish. It's free. Um, I think it's my current favorite third-party camera app. Camera Plus is great, but it is a dollar. And this is free, and dollar. you don't have to pay for the filters if you don't want. I like it a lot. For Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later.